Finding more affordable and high quality child care remains a problem for parents as a shortage continues across the state. News 8's Byron Tollison has more about a local resource to help families find the right daycare for them. With some troubling stories of daycares being shut down in Kent County, plus the ongoing shortage of options, parents have a lot on their plate when making the right decision for their child. But there is help out there. Choosing the right daycare for your child can be a challenge, especially if you're a first-time parent. You're entrusting, you know, your most prized possession. Making things harder, an ongoing crisis for affordable and accessible child care. Fewer options for parents to choose from. It's no surprise to anybody that uh, finding child care over the last couple years has been really difficult. On top of that, the state has shut down multiple daycares in Kent County this year. The first in February in the Rockford area, over kids being locked in tents, and another in May in the Cedar Springs area, with a man assaulting his wife with children in their care. But there's help out there to make sure you find a safe and high-quality daycare. Sometimes it's a little bit overwhelming, you know, when you're starting out on your own and, and there's so many questions that you might have. Um, visiting our website is a great starting point. Great Start to Quality's Kent Resource Center is a free service to families with a database listing child care providers from across the area. You can search by location, hours, type of care, program type, like preschool, faith-based, or cooperative. The website also helps you learn about the daycare's past. With each child care provider, there are direct links to the state's licensing reports and inspections, so you know if anything's happened there before. We always tell parents, no matter what provider you're looking at, do your due diligence and make sure that you're checking out that information, because you want to know, you know, previous history, not just from when care is starting moving forward. The program's director, Jamie Mueller, says you should schedule an in-person interview with the daycare. Go into their program and meet them and see their space, um, see how they're interacting with the other children. You want to make sure that you have information about um, their routines and their schedules if they work with and use a curriculum. Mueller says finding high-quality child care is worth the investment and the time to get it done right. By a child being in a high quality program during their first five years, that's really going to offer them a safe place to learn and to grow and to develop and to build and foster positive relationships. As far as improving that child care shortage, Mueller says there is hope on the horizon, pointing out state funding and grants have helped open up new child care programs and reopen ones that shut down during the pandemic.